Okay, I got Buddha. I've decided to ah, 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 ah. to do individual training with Buddha um, for a few reasons because Buddha is going to be a humongous dog, and he's right now his paw is about just a bit bit taller than his mother's. He's going to be a very huge dog, and um, I don't want him to be vastly overweight, and he's. He's a very independent thinker, and so he's going to have to start training um, very rarely, um, relatively early. Um, the owner of this dog will need a personal trainer because he's going to be very big, and we don't want this dog to be socialized improperly and undisciplined be simply because he's a very big dog. He's going to be a monster as far as his size goes. And so I'm doing what is known as imprint training now with him. Um, imprint training is introducing the puppy into what his life will be about. It's not really training training as we understand training, but it's imprint training. Um, normally with a puppy at six weeks old, you don't want them smelling things, picking things up, because they can get sick very easy. And so, we're doing the best we can with him right now. Um, he's a lot more active. He wants to be the leader on the walk. Um, and that's good. But he's a big one, so who, whomever hands I put him in, they're going to have to have the money to pray for training because he's going to be a very big dog and it's nothing to be playing around with. Um, you get a big dog like this, unsocialized, untrained, and he can end you up in court. <laughs> so we want to start giving him individualized training to make him um, less dependent upon the pack right away. And... Um, from my assessment with him earlier, he wants to go where he wants to go instead of where I want him to go. So, we're getting him out right now, and we're going to break that up by him following me. And so, we'll make another video probably of Buddha later. Um, Buddha, <laughs> Buddha is quite interesting because he's highly intelligent. Um, He's conservative, laid-back, jolly kind of fella, but at the same time, he's fiercely independent, which most big dogs, um, big dogs tend to know that they're big and they behave differently. They're a lot more secure than small dogs might be. And so, with Buddha, we want to expose him to much. As you can see, his hair is standing up on his back, which lets you know that I'm somewhere I've never been before, and I'm not with the pack, and I'm not um, playing with anybody out here. <laughs> um, so this is one of the reasons why you want to get them out. Get them used to sounds, children running. Let them see the world. Let them look around. He's crying, and he's crying for his mommy. And that's okay. And he's crying because this is all new to him. But we're going to... I got him on a nice little walk here. I didn't want it to be as long as it is, but I had to make it a longer walk. His hair is still standing up on his back. Yeah, this dog will need this dog will need a personal trainer um, for whomever hands I put him in, simply because he, his aggression level will be higher than what I expected, and that's that's okay as long as he's trained. He's not a dog that should go untrained because he's going to be a big one.